Lovely fans, how's it going? Um, I'm just putting the finishing touches on a few of our October uh, decor items around the house. So we have a you know wonderfully spooky setting for all of our wonderful October programs that are coming up. And that is actually why I'm here to talk to you today. Uh, this Saturday, so uh, tomorrow, one day away, oh my goodness, is our first Twilight Tour, which is basically going to be uh, a time when you can come in and conduct your own ghost hunting investigations of the Whaley Historic House Museum. Um, the event will run from 9 until midnight and it costs $20. You are welcome to stay for the entire three hours if you want, but we are, uh, you know, we will be kicking you out at midnight because, you know, I need to sleep at some point. <laughs> um, but you can come. The house is going to be completely dark, so we're going to turn out all of the lights except for a few battery-operated candles like like this guy, like my, my friend Mr. Skull over here. Um, they will be up and around the house and a few other battery-operated candles that we have. Um, so we do recommend that you bring a flashlight with you. Uh, we do not want anybody tripping and falling in the dark. Uh, granted, I trip and fall even when it's not dark, but, you know, we're trying to look out for your safety here. <laughs> so please do bring a flashlight. If you happen to forget, uh, we will have extra battery-operated candles that you can take with you throughout the house. So they don't, you know, quite provide the same, uh, the same light as, as a flashlight would. And if you've never been ghost hunting before, um, I'm here to tell you that there are tons of different ways that you can go about it. Um, you know, if you if you've done it before and you have you know some some fun equipment or whatever, you can certainly bring that. You have a voice recorder, you know, bring that. You know, the ghost hunters always use that for their their EVPs, their electronic voice phenomenon. Um, but there are tons of apps that you can actually get just just for your smartphone um, that that will do ghost hunty things. You know, they apparently sense when ghosts are around um, based on I don't know, electromagnetic fields. <laughs> Um, and things like that. Uh, there are different devices that will scan radio frequencies and blurt out words that the ghosts are trying to communicate with you, the spirits. Um, but if we just do a very quick app search here um, for ghost hunting apps, uh, a whole bunch of them pop up. Ghost Locator. Um, you know, and it actually has a creepy looking ghost as the logo, so that probably means it's legit, right? Um, ghost Detect Pro. Pro, it costs 99 cents. Um, there are, oh, that, that's a horrifying, scary cam thing. But anyways, you can, um, you know, find tons of different applications that you can put on your phone to use that night. Um, then, you know, delete them if you want to. Never use them again. Um, also, your flashlight can be a tool, too. Last year, we had a uh, ghost hunting team come in and do an investigation. You could purchase tickets for $30 uh, to be part of that with them. And they did the flashlight trick where, you know, you put your flashlight, it has to be one that you turn to turn on. It can't be like a clicky one. Um, and you put it so it's just on the border of being on and being off. And you ask questions and the ghost apparently, you know, can use its energy to, to inch it on, basically. Um, or, or off according to your questions and commands and things like that. And they had some mixed results. So um, if that's something that you know how to do, you've seen done, you've done before, you can feel free to do that too. Uh, I am going to say, however, that we are going to limit the number of people who are in the house for the event. So we have never run this program before, so we have an idea of what we think will be sort of our max number of people in the house, but we're going to sort of play it by ear. If it feels like it's getting full and we're not quite at our number yet, then um, we're not going to let anybody else in until somebody else leaves. So if you want to be part of this, I would suggest getting here at or before nine o'clock. We won't be letting anybody in until nine, but you know you can line up <laughs> um, to, to get in. Uh, if you want to come later and you would like to call at say 10 p.m. Saturday night to see if we have space available, then um, you certainly can. The number here at the museum is 810-471-4714. And we'll be able to tell you if you know we have you know four spaces available, so come on down or no, we have no spaces anymore. So if that's the case, we are going to be running this program again on Saturday, October 24th. And it's going to be the same thing, same exact thing. And it's going to run on the same time, 9 until midnight. So, um, you know, come early uh, and, and enjoy your time. We will have volunteers, you know, all throughout the house, especially since this is sort of a later night thing. Uh, they're going to be wandering through, not disrupting you, but uh, just monitoring. It is, you know, we are a museum, so we do need to protect our artifacts and make sure that, you know, no one's sitting on 
um, you know, Florence is bad or something like that. Um, but they'll also be here to answer any questions that you may have. So if you have questions about the family members, about the structure, the building itself, um, or questions about Maury T. Andrews, the individual who died of mercury poisoning here in the house, uh, they will be able to answer those questions for you. And yes, Maury T. Andrews did die in the house of mercury poisoning, but you'll have to ask one of us Saturday night and, you know, and we'll, we'll tell you the full story. <laughs> Um, all right, guys, so hopefully this is all the information that you need. Saturday, 9 to midnight. The cost is $20. If you are a member of the Whaley Historic House Museum at any level, you will be getting a 20% discount on your admission. So be sure to um, bring your membership card with you. Um, if you're a student, remember that you can purchase a membership for $10 and uh, that will be effective you know, immediately. So just bring, you do need your student ID, however. Um, so come, have fun, call the Whaley House. If you have any questions between now and then, the number, as I said before, is 810-471-4714. Uh, you can also email me at director at whaleyhouse.com. You can visit our events page on our Facebook page or you can check out our website at whaleyhouse.com. So there are a bazillion ways for you to get any information that you might need, so there are no excuses, my friends. So um, hopefully you guys are coming, and I hope to see you Saturday night. I'll be at the door, uh, you know, taking your admission while everybody else is wandering around and making sure everything else is running smoothly. So hopefully I'll see you Saturday, and if not, hopefully I will see you at another one of our wonderful October programs. All right, thanks, guys. See you later. Bye.